MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 20 Met Force on Iraq. All right, let's delve into the problem. A rock has a mass of 100 kilograms. A man pushes the rock on its side with a force of 300 newtons, moving the rock. If the coefficient of kinetic friction between the rock and the ground is 0 0.25, what is the net force on the rock? Is it going to be A, 55 newtons, B, 65 newtons, C, 550 newtons, or D, 500 newtons? I'll give you a moment to set up your equation and solve for um, the net force on the rock. Press pause if you need to. All right, let's discuss the solution. All right, so drawing a free body diagram to show all the forces acting on the rock will help us set up an equation to obtain the net force. The forces acting on the rock are the gravitational force, the normal force, the force of the man pushing the rock, and the frictional force, okay? The gravitational force and the normal force negate each other in the vertical direction. Therefore, the net force will be in the horizontal direction. In the horizontal direction, the force of the push from the man works against the force of friction since the rock moves. So the force of the man's push overcomes friction in the direction of the overall net force. The frictional force um, from kinetic friction is defined as the product of the normal force and the coefficient of kinetic friction. So we can use all this information to find out our F net. So as I previously insinuated, F net, the net force, um, what we're really looking what we're really looking for basically is going to be F push, where the direction to the left is designated as the positive direction, minus F um, friction. And the direction to the right is designated as the negative direction, okay? So F net equals F push minus mu of kmg, because remember, um, we said that the force of friction is basically the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. And since the normal force has the same magnitude as the force due to gravity, we can just substitute that information. So F push, we know because we're told that the man pushes with a force of 300 newtons, okay? And we already designated this direction as positive. Minus our coefficient of kinetic friction we're given times um, 100, well, we're told that the rock is 100 kilograms times 9.8, which is our g, our acceleration due to gravity, okay? So when we multiply that out, we get 25 times um, 9.8. So that's going to give us 300 minus 245 newtons. Therefore, our overall net force is going to be 55 newtons, and the correct um, answer choice is A, so the net force of the rock is A, 55 newtons, okay? So this was very sequential. It's not that difficult. It just takes practicing um, free body diagram problems like these over and over and over again, okay? So it's a skill. It's not something that a lot of people get right away. Some do, but some don't. So if you're not totally comfortable, that's completely fine. All right, 